Steve, tell us about when you invested in Tesla, there were 27 investors, 27 uh, employees, and, and what your wife thought about that investment. Well, yeah, no, I came home and I told my wife, you know, I've just invested in this new company. There's this guy, Elon Musk, and, you know, 27 guys in a warehouse in San Carlos, and we're going to revolutionize the global auto industry. And she said, you've lost your mind. Go get your money back. <laughs> um, and in the early days, it was not at all clear what would happen. But the fact is, and our first car, frankly, wasn't so hot, but by the time we got to the Model S, people said, wow. It was car of the year, safest car ever made, best performing car, highest reviews from Consumer Reports. It kind of showed people you can make an electric car that's transformative. But the narrative is always moved forward by the naysayers who said, okay, okay, it's a great car, but it's a plaything for the rich, plaything for the rich, play. So fast forward 24 months, we know what the world's been waiting for. And the, the narrative is people won't buy electric cars. Here's some easy numbers for you. Roughly 400,000 electric cars in the world, 200,000, half of them in the United States, 100,000, half of those here in California, 400,000 total. What the world's been waiting for is a low cost electric car, read 30,000 dollars or less that goes 200 miles to deal with range anxiety. Tesla announced that car two weeks ago. Guess what? They've taken orders for 400,000 in the last 10 days. So doubling the entire world total in orders in two weeks. So this narrative that people don't like electric cars, you can't predict the future by looking backward. You can only predict the future by looking forward. And again, I'm kind of excited because we're inventing a lot of it here.